on the right hand side you can see a chemical reaction is going on so every such chemical reaction has a rate equation this rate equation helps us in determining the kinetics of the reaction or the kinetics of the chemical reaction the rate equation is determined experimentally and has nothing to do with the stoichiometry of the balanced equation of that reaction so the rate equation can be written somewhat like this minus ra is equal to k times concentration to the power n i am writing this for the equation a giving r where a is my reactant and r is my product so for these type of reactions these are generally represented or called as homogeneous reactions homogeneous reactions where my reactant and my product both are in the same phase so for this reaction minus ra this is my rate my reaction rate k is my rate constant rate constant and ca ca is the concentration ca is the concentration of reactant a reactant a in this n n is the order of the reaction is the order of the reaction this n is determined this n is determined experimentally this n is determined experimentally now we are going to talk about this rate constant this rate constant so this rate constant for a homogeneous reaction this rate constant depends only on temperature only on temperature so there are various laws by which we can find this rate constant as a function of temperature we are going to discuss those laws so let's talk about them one by one arrhenius equation tells that the rate constant k is directly proportional to e to the power minus ea by rt where ea is the activation energy r is the gas constant and t t is the temperature so this can be framed somewhat like this k equals to some constant which i will write as a times e to the power minus ea by rt here a a is the frequency factor frequency factor and the rest are same so given values of t we can easily find out the values of a if k is known so if for t1 i know k1 and for t2 i know k2 if these data are provided if such data are provided experimentally then i can easily plot a graph between log or ln k equals to ln a minus ea by rt so using this what i can do is if i plot a graph between ln k versus 1 by t then the slope will give me the value of the minus ea by r and the intercept will give me ln a so by using the arrhenius equation we can also find the rate constant a and uh, activation energy so this can be determined using the arrhenius equation now let's go to the next model which is the collision theory now collision theory is another model by which the rate constant can be determined it says k equals to a times t to the power half times e to the power minus ea by rt minus ea by rt the value of a which we arrived at the value of a for the arrhenius equation and the value of a for collision theory may not be same because these are different models so let's box this one so this is the collision theory and now let's move on to the transition state theory now transition state theory says k equals to a times t to the power 1 times e to the power minus ea by rt this is the transition state theory you can see the difference for collision theory it was t to the power half but for transition state theory we have t to the power 
again this a the value of this a these are basically constants are basically different the collision theory this value of a for the collision theory and for the transition theory may or may not be same so let's box this last one also these three equations these three equations collision theory transition state theory and arrhenius equation these are used to predict the rate constant when the temperature is when uh, temperature is variable that is the temperatures are changing in engineering practices for most of the cases arrhenius equation arrhenius equation is the most used but collision theory and transition state theory equations are also applicable in certain cases so this was the video thank you